2014 was a fun year for the Bryan High football team. After dropping their first game of the season, the Vikings rolled off 10 straight victories en route to a District 18 5A title. With many players returning this fall, Bryan has the pieces to repeat in 2015. After missing the playoffs for three straight years, it all came together for the Bryan High football team in 2014. The Vikings won their first outright district championship since 1999. In 2015, they want to do it again. Well, that's something we started back in January, so it's back to back, and that's, that's our goal. And certainly it's going to take a lot of work, going to take some luck, but uh, we think it can get done. It'd be really cool because back to back years, we never, I don't know the last time we did back to back, so that'd be really cool. First team all district quarterback BJ Ross is back for his senior season. He keeps defenses honest with his arm as well as his legs. Ross has accounted for 27 total touchdowns in two years as a starter. Losing excellent running back Kiki Johnson is a big blow, but returning fullback Jarvis Lister and St. Joseph transfer Hunter Batten can both carry the load for the Vikings. Jarvis Lister has got a great vision, he's, he's strong. He sees things well, and so does Hunter Batten, so maybe the two of them will, will be enough. Eight starters return on defense, including three all-district players, Diedrich Davis, Cedric Johnson, and Garrett Denalik. Along with the offense, that unit will have to get used to playing this season with everybody in the district gunning for the Vikings. Everybody's working to beat us. Instead of having one team trying to beat us, it's all ten focused on beating Brian to make sure they don't get back to back. Our motivation is to stay on top, not to get on top. And the Vikings get even more motivation by a feeling of disrespect by some. Football is the ultimate team game, but with the dominance of Kiki Johnson last season, is it possible that Brian was carried by just one player? The Vikings certainly don't think so, and they want to show that Johnson was just one great piece of a great team. We love Kiki and he did a great job, but we got other guys who are good for players, and so we just got to go out there every week. I mean, just as they do across town, across the uh, highway. Uh, everybody's got to prove it every week, and if we have that attitude, uh, then we got a chance to do it. If we feel like that we're above anybody, then we're not going to get it done, and certainly uh, we do have the confidence now to do it again. The Vikings will have a veteran offensive line in 2015. Four of the five are returning starters and will be counted on to pave the way for somebody other than Kiki Johnson. The Vikings open the season this Friday night at Class 6A Montgomery.